So what we've got here is a D-bit grinder. We have graduations along here, starting at a zero point, and it goes zero to 15 one way and zero to 15 the other way. The trouble is, is that these are one mil increments and you can't get fractions um, adjusted on this with accuracy. Now the adjustment is done through this side control here which allows you to move it left and right and consequently what we need to do is to be able to do subdivisions of one millimetre. So as we've got no subdivision indicator on the main indexing um, what we're going to do is make up a fitting that fits onto right this adjustment screw here and we're going to put a mark on right the side of the machine so that we can do subdivisions of one millimetre. Now if you look at some of the other D-bit grinders out there um, and in particular the decal which is basically what these are all copied from is that they'll have a main graduation up the top area here and they'll have a sub subdivision graduation on the bottom so that you can actually adjust this for parts of one inch or parts of one one millimeter. So to take that adjusting bolt out or screw we just, um, we've, we've got a nut and a locking nut on this side so we've got a 12 millimeter spinner hold, holding one which got to loosen the other one off. This shouldn't be super tight. Take that one off and now we can take the other nut off. So we unscrew this now and that's what was adjusting it left and right you know from your zero and we can take that out. See here, one large bolt with a long thread. We've got a knurl section here that we use to do the adjustment with and then we've got a, a recess here. So what we're going to do is make a collar that fits over this recess and then we're going to put graduations on that collar to allow us to adjust for um, 0.1 and 0.05 right adjustments. So right, the diameter of that section there um, is exactly on 12 mil. So what we've got set up in the lathe is some white acetal. Um, we were going to get black but we couldn't get hold of black so white will do. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just face that off and we're going to bore that so it's just a, um, a firm slip fit and it'll fit onto that collar area. Okay, we've got it faced off now, so the next process that we have to do is uh, to put a right the centre hole in there. Alright, so we're just going to put a centre in so we can start the drilling process. We'll put a, and that's all we need there to get the drill started. So we worked at before, um, the diameter that this collar's got to fit onto is 12mm. Um, we've got a 9.5mm drill here so we're just going to take that through and it doesn't have to go super deep it's only about 15 mil so what we're going to do is um, you know just drill through to about 20 mil that'll give us a bit of play room and then we're going to use the boring bar right to bring it out to a final size Ready. I'm just going to take that in we're starting at that point there which is about I'm just going to go in 15 mil set up our boring bar. Uh, the, now this is the smallest of the standard boring bars I've got and it just just fits in. So we're going to bring this out to 
11.5, so we've got about a 0.5 mil fit. Um, we're just going to do touch off. Touch off there, just going to take that through. In there. Right, so what we've done here is that we've brought the boring bar in as far as it can go, and then we've set up our stop so we just stop at that point so we don't have to worry about going too far. Our regulations on here are uh, 0.05 of a millimetre, approximately 2 thousandths of an inch. We're going to go in 5 divisions. So we've got our small hole right measuring tool and that's set for 11 millimetres at the moment. As you can see it doesn't fit in so we've got to come in a bit further yet. So we'll just take a measurement and that's just on 11. So this can take another measurement now and just adjusting that to get a and we're right on 11.5 at the moment. So we just measured the hole and we got that on 11.8. So we've just adjusted this to 12 millimeter. Now if we put that into the hole, it slides in, but it's a little bit of pressure to get it in there. So it's quite a firm firm fit which is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to just going to reface again um, just to clean it up a bit and then we'll do the outside and to make it concentric with the ball. So on the mill we've got the rotary table set up, um, that's all been squared up to the actual mill itself and what we're going to do now is to find the centre and we're going to find right at the end.
so what we've got here is an uh, engraving bit. Um, I'm going to be putting every 30, uh, 36 degrees um, around the circumference of this. So that, that'll basically be 0.1 of a millimetre. And the length that we need is 11 millimetres. So we're not going to go to the full length of the marks. But I'm only going to go 8 mil in for the main marks. And then we're going to put a half mark in at 4 mil. completed the first round so we've cut in the 0.1 millimeter marks so now we're going to cut in the 0.05 millimeter marks and now we're going to start off at 18 degrees so we've just reset up again now this is cutting between the marks now all the way around and we'll only be going four millimeter in so half the distance and then they'll be the half graduations for the 0.1 increments So what we're doing now is we start off at 18, so that's halfway between, and now we're adding 36 to each one, so the next, next mark is 54. So as you can see we've got our graduations put into the circumference of the, right, the collar that's going on to right this part here or this section of this part. And as you can see we also put down our marks that we had to hit. So these are for the full marks and they're for the half marks. And that's the end result. Well the next stage is to cut this off, we'll put it back into the lathe and just trim it down and that should be it. So we're just going to face the front off. Well, as you can see, we've got the collar made um, with our main index marking and our half index marking. Now we've got to fit that onto here. All right, we've got the collar on. Um, what we had to do was just heat up with a heat gun, just expand right the plastic just slightly, and then fit it on just to just comfortably. And as you can see here, it's locked on nice and tight. We've got our right adjustment screw back in. Um, we'll I mean, we've got that lined up, that was the original mark I put on there which now lines up with this mark and we put a little tap mark on the side so we can line it up to that position. So we loosened off the locking knob on the bottom here and as you can see here we've got our, our main index mark lined up with the indentation we put in the side and if we do one full 
turn of that and line it back up onto our mark on the side. We move from zero to our first mark, which is one millimetre. So we've been able to divide that one millimetre into ten main marks and then half divisions as well. So it gives us quite fine control across right across the range and basically acts as a vernier, which is what is on you know the original models, but is not you know is not on this model.